There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Game crafters. Let's see what they've crafted for us. Oh, we've got sound. Presents The Adventures of Mad Dog Williams in... In what? Where is Mad Dog Williams going? Don't leave us in suspense now, game. The Dungeons of Duridian. All right, let us be Mad Dog Williams and explore these dungeons. A wizard. Is this your first time playing the game? Yes, it is. Welcome, adventurer, to the world of Mad Dog Williams, a world of castles and kings, of great dragons and lovely princesses. Thank you, generic wizard. Many years ago in the lands known as Juridian, there was a kind and gracious king named Serac. The kingdom of Juridian stretched from the great northern deserts and as far as the valley of Marinor to the south. Okay, right. It is a land wrapped in legend and lore, a land filled with many magical and mystical creatures. Okay. King Serac ruled the lands of Duridian from the great city known as Sidra by the sea. There he is. And look at all his adoring populace. Many ships from distant ports sort out refuge and rest in the quiet harbours of Duridian. The stone spires of Sidra were a sign of peace and good to all who saw them. I feel like something terrible is going to go wrong here. The people of Duridian hailed their king and spoke his name with respect and honour. In return, Serac would protect them from the thieving pirates to the east and the barbarians of Korbala to the west. Alright. Then, there we go, one dark day, the high priest of the evil demon god Malfazar began to influence Serac's mind with his sorcery and in time turned the loving king to a life of corruption. Serac enslaved the people of the land and forced the men of Juridian to build a new castle far to the west atop the Korbala Mountains. I'm noticing we're not seeing images of that happening. He named his new fortress the Castle of Duridian and for miles around he burned and ravaged the lands. To this day, those lands are still called the Desolation of Serac. As opposed to the Desolation of Smaug. Oh no! As the years passed, Serac became more and more corrupted by the powers of Malfazar. He lived an evil life and for many years ruled his people with blood and terror. Holy exposition, Batman. Right, okay. Most of the peasants were forced, blah blah blah, bad things happened. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, where do we come in? Uh, where does Mad Dog Williams come in? Yep, sacrifice people. Somebody really enjoyed drawing that woman. Yep. Oh, is this our hero? Is this Mad Dog and his cadre of... Uh, oh, yeah, one man, Mad Dog, yep, yep. He He's gonna stop Serac. In a small secluded cottage, yep, yep, yep. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Lots of setup. Wow, this is like a book's worth. Okay. I mean, the animation's nice. Look at that. It's it's very very Tolkien-esque, very Shinara-like. Uh, though I'd go more Eddings than Shinara, I guess. It's it's my first fantasy book. Okay, celebrated victory. Okay, chose him to be the new king. Everything was okay again, but what does this have to do with us? Okay, lived in peace, townships built, ponies and puppies and everything was great. And then... Somebody's brushing their hair. And she's got a nice picture of the king with his goofy grin. For many years, the kingdom grew in Sidra by the Sea, blah, 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 finally married after satisfying his first for adventure. Okay. Grew up peaceful land, stories, and now the bad demons will come and capture the princess. Okay, thank you for that long, long story. Okay, as a mentor and friend to Mad Dog Williams. So we're not even, we're not even Mad Dog Williams. Okay. We have to help him rid the world of evil. Okay. Oh my god!
god, man! Ah, oh, look at all this writing. Uh, okay, yeah, this is this is a copy protection thing. Uh, three hundred and forty-five, actually. That is incorrect. You shall not be permitted entrance. Prepare to enter Marador. You see, the copy protection of the game would ask you a specific question. We answered it wrong, but somebody has cracked this game in order to work. So even though the wizards told us you can't go in, we're going in anyway. Okay. We we appear to be sleeping peacefully. Um, there's a nice little overture. Uh, the quiet sound of the morning air rustling through the tops of the trees can be heard as our hero lies fast asleep upon his bed. Small grains of sand filter into a small bucket above him. The bucket drops suddenly with the weight of the sand triggering Mad Dog's complex new invention. Is this to wake this guy up? Yep, it's like a... What was it? Is it a Rue Goldberg machine or something? The sudden splash of ice-cold water has awakened Mad Dog from a restful sleep. So are we Mad Dog? Okay, we are Mad Dog. And... Right, there's arrow keys to control Mad Dog. The music has stopped. We are now in, finally in control after Exposition Central. And you only need to tap the keys in order to uh, move the character. So I see a small thing down there. Is there? Yeah. So this is a this is an interesting combination of arrow driven adventure game and text parser based game. Always nice to have a portrait of yourself on the wall. Let's, uh, let's just get out of here, see if something interesting will happen. No music, though. That's very disappointing. We had a load of MT32 style music going on there in the background. And then uh, what happens if I say take... Oh, I have to spell it right first. This is part of the shop's inventory, so I need to leave it here. Oh, right. So we're, we're, we're in a shop of sorts. Let's go out into the great outdoors, shall we? Antiques. So we sell antiques and uh, do, do we do we go this way? Let, let's go this way. Let's wander off into the unknown and see what happens. Nothing. Okay. Mad dog. See, I, I'm I'm trying to hold down the keys and the game sees that as multiple presses. So instead of continuing, he just stops. Okay. A thieving pirate advances towards Mad Dog with a very menacing look. Okay. Beep. Mad Dog looks at you, wondering what to do next. Attack pirate. Press F1. Uh, I have no weapon. Uh-oh. Oh dear. We can't attack the pirate without a weapon. So let's just cowardly run away back to the antique store. And oh no. So what's happened here is that one of the musical cues uh, hasn't worked. I can't open the door. Oh, let's just get killed by the pirate. It wasn't interesting me that much, this game. Right. There we go. Okay. I have no weapon. Let's get killed by the pirates. Let's go! Oh, God. Ow! Well. Um. You gonna attack me now? Was was that your attempt at an attack? I'll just uh, I'll just bypass you by wandering past the boulders. <laughs> ah, you weren't expecting that, were you? Mad dog evades the pirate by going across the boulders. Yeah, can't catch me. I'm the pirate avoiding mad dog guy. Okay, a random fisherman. 
Let's speak with him. Talk. Who do you wish to talk to? Uh, talk to... Gosh, it would help if I could type. Talk to Fisherman. Dirk turns to Mad Dog and says, Hello, Mr. Williams. Great day for fishing, wouldn't you say? I haven't caught much today, but I remember the time when old Frank and I were down by that old cave a few years back. That reminds me, I saw some men in long dark robes headed that way. Anyway, old Frank and I cast our lines into the water and we're just sitting and talking when all of a sudden Frank's pull near Benton too. Frank grabbed his pole and started to bring the fish and all of a su bring the fish in and all of a sudden Frank disappeared right into the water. I thought he was going to drown. I yelled, "Gosh, this is a lot of talking." Let go of the pole, but you know Frank, he was going to ride the fish to the bottom. Well, a few seconds later, he popped up to the surface, and started yelling about getting the boat, so I jumped in and rowed out to him. Saw blood in the water, got worried. He said he'd cut its throat and needed help. Pulled it into the boat and it was a monster. Sea monster, yep, okay. Uh, Alright. So, he's told us about men in robes and a sea monster. I really should have got a weapon. Uh, Mad Dog pulls and tugs at the door, but finally decides that it is locked. Okay, let's, let's go a little bit further. We know what this is. It's sort of a, a combination between a text parser game, an RPG and an adventure game. Jump to rock. Press fire button or shift key. Hey, that worked. <laughs> All right. We've made it this far. To the cave without a weapon. Come on, mad dog. Let's go to our doom. Uh. Yep. This isn't looking good. Mad Dog looks down at the girl, his soul filled with dread. Several men in robes surround her, preparing to sacrifice the beautiful maiden to their evil god. So we'll just wander up. The sound of chanting grows more intense. Ow, ow. Ow, game. That is painful. And suddenly, oh. Ow. I do apologize for the sound here. He looks at the man in robes and can see them staring back at him. Well, 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 it looks like we'll have two for dinner. Um, Mad Dog is quickly captured by the robed men and falls prey to the same fate as the lovely maiden. Thank you for playing the adventures of Mad Dog Williams. We hoped you had enjoyed playing as much as we've enjoyed creating it for you. Uh, so that's the adventures of Mad Dog Williams. It's a strange mix of text parser, adventure game, and there's a wee bit of action thrown in there. If it looked even remotely interesting to you, yeah, give it a shot. It's, it's not too bad for what it is. It's not too bad. It didn't bowl me over, but I only scratched the surface, you know. It just, it's, it, the, the idea of using a text parser instead of a mouse uh, on the screen in order to interact with things in particular an action game just seemed very antiquated to me especially for a game that came out you know around 1991 but anyway um if you enjoy me being tortured by dos games i've played hundreds of others feel free to take a look and if you like subscribe that's enough of mad dog now cheerio 